Hello again, you lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. Um, you may have been aware by now if you've been watching my videos for a while, but um, yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with uh, Tiger Telematics. Uh, unsuccessful, most unsuccessful, <laughs> unsuccessful console probably of all time, Biggest Mundo. Well, I thought we'd take another look at uh, one of the games that were released. Um, this one is called Interstellar. Oh, let's have a look. Let's show you the logo. This one is called Hey Interstellar Flames 2. And it's a uh, shoot 'em up. A very nice one with a very interesting art style again. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take a look at this one. <clears throat> Here we go. And focus a bit for you. This is a very nice style. Shows the graphic capabilities of this window really well again. Reminds me a bit of um, Star Fox and so on, but in a less cartoony style. And some of the uh, Star Wars games. I know some people at the time were saying they felt it was a bit linear, but I don't mind it. I think it's quite good. Certainly, uh, one of the very few shooting up Sonic is Mundo, so it's not like your spot for choice. You can see my plane is absolutely terrible again. Oh, there we go. Well, that is Interstellar Flames 2. Not really sure if there was ever a 1, to be honest. It certainly wasn't on the Gizmunda. I can imagine it was maybe on another console or home computer, like maybe the Amiga or something. <coughs> Just like Trailblazer was originally a uh, yeah. Commodore 64 game, of course. In a very uh, <laughs> underwhelming way. And actually, Trailblazer is available on the uh, Commodore 64 Mini, which I'm going to be taking a look at in the future. Right, 
Well, I'm going to quit this one. There we go. <clears throat> yes, thank you very much. Right, what we'll do is, so that we've made this a bit more worthwhile, we'll have a look at another one in a minute. Coming up in a sec. Well, I thought we'd even this out a bit with one that wasn't released. And um, to be quite honest, I'm slowly but surely knocking all these Gizmondo games out of the uh, out of the park. So, you know, we are going to come to an end um, pretty soon, really, because uh, there just wasn't many released, was there? So yeah, we're going to have a look at uh, Hit and Myth, which is an unreleased game. So that, here we go. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, as I say, this was unreleased. Uh, one of the leaked games after they folded. Oh. This should be interesting for anybody who hasn't seen it. Oh, Texas, this one. Wow, this was one of the very few that was actually uh, done in America. Wow, I actually forgot that. <coughs> this this would have been fantastic if it would have been released. It's a really kind of strange but kind of cool um, game. Yeah, How you would describe it is... Uh, a bit of a shooter, really. Um, yeah. Interesting story. Remember, there's an evil Santa and evil snowman in this game. And it's got an interesting shooting dynamic, if I remember right. Right, here we go. <laughs> Hilarious. That's what it is with this game. There's some really funny bits. As you can see, look, there's things shooting at you, but you've got to kind of shoot from below. 
or upside down even. It's a very strange dynamic. And the sides even, look here, it's from the side. Oh dear, did already. That's it from the sides. You can also shoot the parcels, there we go. Let's try and get this into a better focus. Let's have a look. There we go. They shoot them from the sides. Can be a bit confusing, but. Yeah. Once you get used to it, <coughs> as you can see, it's been a while since I played. This is a really little bit again. Quite dark this level. Oh, that's the old answer. for that every time so yeah that's that's hit and myth um as much as it is you could probably see and um, so yeah that was another two uh gizmondo games there one which was commercially released which was of course into stellar flames 2 played very badly by me and of course the unreleased hit and myth um which is a fantastic game uh it's the full game as well so you know if you've got gizmondo Go out there, make sure you, you uh, put custom firmware onto your Gizmondo and get out there and download those games while they're still there because I don't think they're going to be there much longer. Um, and then you'll get your hands on things like Hit and Myth and uh, Colours and so on, all the games that were unreleased. There is some brilliant ones amongst them. So yeah, it's worthwhile you doing that. And uh, yeah, you know, you, you can pay it now huge amounts of money for Gizmondo boxed commercial really released games and to be quite honest unless you're a serious collector you know you can, you can get them all nobody cares about them anymore you can get them all on a download just make sure you've got the service pack uh, installed to your Gizmondo and you can play them for free there's no need for you to spend that amount of money of course people like me who chase the the real thing um it's a different matter, of course, you know, we want to have that tactile box, manual, card, you know, we, we want that. But of course, if you're uh, not really that bothered, then save yourself anything up to 50 quid and just download them. And then you can get all those unreleased ones while you're at it and uh, even emulators. So yeah, uh, that was two more Gizmondo games, one commercial, one unreleased. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, of what you could see of it, obviously the screen is always a, a problem on the Gizmondo 
Um, please join me again next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.